This is the glam look that I've decided to do for you guys today. So let's get started. My name is Chandrika and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Others, welcome back. So I'll just separate out my hair with these clips. I feel very fancy YouTuber-ish while doing this. Anyway, starting with the Vaseline lip balm. I think Vaseline does a great job with their lip balms and 10 on 10 for this. Then I'm going to start with a primer. This is the Fa Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm going to use it all over my face especially where there are heavy pores. This is a silicone based primer and I really really like it. First and foremost, I'm going to start with my eye makeup and for that I'm just mapping out the area so I'm going to stick these washi tapes to get the area and then I'll just put concealer, uh, the brightening concealer which is by K by Katrina all over my eyes. Starting with this eyeshadow stick by K by Katrina, this is in the shade Indulge. I will map out the initial parts of the eyeshadow. So I'm going to do a cut crease and this kind of cut crease is currently very popular all over the internet. So I'm going to first put apply it like a wing and then buff it out like blend it out and then at the inner um, crease area. This is something that I've done for the very first time. This entire technique is very new to me. So I ha also took some time, you know, like getting used to this while doing this. So this is the very first time that I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it in front of the camera. So yeah. Next I'll use this dark brown shade from the Fortune Favors a Brave palette by Ma Makeup Revolution and further darken the area where I had applied the eyeshadow. Then with the light brown shade, I'm going to blend everything out so that there are no harsh lines. I felt that this needed a bit more definition so I used a black eyeshadow to further define the area where I applied the brown eyeshadows. Then using the light brown shade and a flat fluffy brush. I blended everything out so that it does not look harsh. Now I'm going to take a little bit of micellar water and clean out the middle area and also areas where I didn't want any eyeshadow. This way I will also get the exact uh, shapes that I wanted. Now I'm going to use my brightening concealer and do a cut crease. So whenever you're doing a cut crease, apply the concealer to the lower part of the lid and then look up and you'll know where to cut your crease from. So that's how I did it and then I blended it out with my fingers and you can keep it like this or you can add a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm going to apply this champagne uh, eyeshadow on the area where I applied the concealer. Now I'm going to take a little bit of loose glitter and apply it on the crease, the top crease on the inner side of the eye. Now this took a long time, like I cut out most of that area because it took me a long time to get this right. But yeah, like I wanted a little pop so I added the glitter. The glitter is by Forever 52 and the only problem is that it's loose so I keep thinking that it's gonna fall and it's gonna spill everywhere. But yeah, now I used a base product after like five years, I think. So I used this Alia Bhatt technique where I used a little bit of skin tint, the one from Maybelline and a little bit of liquid illuminator with moisturizer. I added my brightening concealer to kind of get my perfect shade, but that made the entire thing a little heavy and it was difficult to blend it. So I don't know, I, 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 I think I'm better off without any base product like any foundation or skin tint or whatever but I do have to give the skin tint another try on its own then I buffed everything out and blended everything out it doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin but it does give me a good glow then I'm going to conceal a little bit like with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer this is a very lightweight concealer and I really really like it so yeah just going to like blend that in Then I'm going to use very little uh, brightening concealer, not too much, that's why I'm using a flat brush. 
and just going to define my wing whatever i make up the i make up is the center of attention right now so i want to define it further and i used very little brightening concealer under my eyes because already there's a lot of product go on my face today so not too much there also this is exactly when i started losing light so i had to like uh, switch on my ring light then i used my k by katrina cream blush in sweetheart pink as a blush it's one of my favorite cream blushes what pigmentation and then i contoured my face a little bit to you know give me that chiseled look and blended everything out with a stippling brush if you are new to makeup slip stippling brush is basically uh, something that will help you blend everything in and i feel it's a very underrated brush then i used the rare beauty blush to give me a little bit more glow the pigmentation of the blush fades away but the glow kind of stays so that's the whole point of it then i used a little eye shadow to do my eyebrows i don't focus too much on my eyebrows but this is a whole glam look so i did my eyebrows for this then i used a white neutral shade like a white or a cream shade to define my inner corners usually i use a shimmer shade but this is the first time i'm doing it with a matte shade and i like it what do you guys think for my lower lash line i used a black eye shadow and blended it out with a brown eye shadow and this completed the eye look it made my eye look cohesive then i used the elf mascara to just use it on my lashes and give it that volume and then i contoured my nose a little bit it was time to move to the lips i used a k by katrina a uh, lip liner to line my lips i've been using a lot of k by katrina products if you have been following my videos this lip liner is nice but it's not very blending like if once you put it on it kind of sets oh but i just defined my uh, eyes a little bit like tight line my eyes with black uh, kajal then i thought i'll use ruby woo but i i always tend to gravitate towards a little a uh, darker toned lipsticks so this is the l'oreal red lipstick i i forgot the shade will be mentioned down in the description box then i mattified that a little bit and that's the whole look what do you guys think i mean i've done a glam look after such a long time i really liked it don't forget to let me know and subscribe for more videos